Okay. Welcome to El Jana. This restaurant is an institution in Sydney. Started back in 1998, and it's a Lebanese Australian charcoal roasted chicken. Okay, so we're getting an exclusive look in the grill room here at El Jana. The fat drips down, and the smoke comes up and just embeds into the meat. Welcome to El Jana. This restaurant is an institution in Sydney. Started back in 1998, but they have multiple locations across town now. And it's a Lebanese Australian charcoal roasted chicken is what you come here for. Although they have fried chicken on their menu too. I mean, I believe it's developed, it's changed. It's almost run like a fast food restaurant now where you get all your food at the front and they have some seating, a lot of takeaway orders, but uh, you walk in here, you can immediately smell the aroma of that charcoal chicken. Warning, you may eat more chicken than planned. That's perfectly normal. Okay, so we're getting an exclusive look in the grill room here at El Jana. It's an amazing, I mean, they have capacity to do, how many chickens could you do at once here? In one sheet, we Four, four, four chickens, chickens yeah. per sheet. But if it's busy, all yeah, full. Yeah, it's busy. It when can it's all busy, be full. All, especially wow. during weekends, all full. All full. Yeah. Oh, look at that action. Spring when the fire gets too hot. Oh, that's incredible. But there's three car sized grills going down. It's just a fiery furnace. Just the coals are so hot. And then the, they have an automatic rotisserie on a little engine that continuously spins them. So that's how they get that incredible char on the skin, the smokiness. The fat drips down and the smoke comes up and just embeds into the meat. Wow, what a, what a grill room. Oh, fresh chickens. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, man, it was an honor to spend some time back here in the pits of El Jana. They ro the roasting chicken is unbelievable. That's a fresh batch. They're ready to be served. And so when you eat here, I mean, you're just guaranteed hot, fresh, charcoal roasted chicken. Thank you very much. Enjoy Thank you very meal. much. Thank you. Yeah, that charcoal chicken smells so good. And it's so cool that this place, Al Jana, is a fast food restaurant, but it's, a, it's its own homegrown restaurant right here out of Sydney. Lebanese in ethnicity and origin, but then truly developed right here in Sydney, Australia. That chicken looks incredible. Whoa, oopsie spilled the fries and the fries I believe come with uh, their own chicken salt as well we got pickles we got the garlic sauce we got bread underneath it oh yes look at that chicken look at that skin it's so bubbly and puffy and crispy okay I got half a chicken so I got the breast and the thigh drumstick in one side oh oh should we just tear this open it's so crispy oh I bet it's so juicy and hot on the center Let's just bite into it. Mm. Oh wow, that's tasty. You immediately taste the flavor of the charcoal, the smoke in the chicken. The skin is so crispy, it's almost the crispiness of it being deep fried. Yeah, that's because you have the fat reacting to that hot charcoal. I think you taste a little bit of that chicken salt that maybe has been sprinkled, well, on the fries for sure, maybe a little bit on the chicken as well. Or did that happen when I spilled the fries? But anyway, it's just like a really clean, smoky chicken with crispy skin and with the meat, leaving the meat really moist. Pickles. I've heard a lot of good things about the, the garlic sauce. And then let's tear in for a, for a piece of bread. Let's try that garlic sauce. 
and I do remember being in Lebanon and eating the roast chicken. It always has to be eaten with garlic sauce and some of the greatest garlic sauce you'll ever eat in your life. Oh, oh, oh with that garlic sauce. Oh man, that's creamy. It's so rich, so fluffy and creamy and dense actually. And then immediately you taste that garlicky aroma. Wow, that's good with the roasted smoky chicken. Next up, let's try it with, with bread. Let's try that chicken breast. Just break off, a, break off a piece. So moist and juicy in the center. Add on some of these bright pickles. Squeeze on a little bit of that garlic sauce. Oh, it's so thick. It's so thick, a piece of chicken got stuck in it <laughs> from my last dip. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Again, the smokiness of the chicken, the richness of that garlic sauce, and then I like it with the pickles, the acidity to just contrast to break down the richness of that sauce. All of the flavors complementing together. Mm. Excellent. Okay, and now we do have the fries, which are coated. You can, if you look closely, you can see the fries are sprinkled with a special seasoning which I believe is a chicken salt, which is quite famous here as well. Oh yeah, immediately. It tastes like a combination of salt plus dry chicken powder seasoning, coating the fries, giving them a little bit of extra flavor to add to the full chicken, grilled chicken experience, charcoal chicken experience. Oh, even the chicken breast is nice and juicy. Maybe dip it into the, the garlic sauce then into, into bread, and then add pickles. And actually, to make it even, take it to the next level, you could definitely add some fries as well. Mm. Yeah, that's just, I mean, I think one of the reasons it's so popular is it's just a meal everybody can enjoy. Everybody in the family. It's laid back, it's fast, it's fresh, it's tasty. I already did mention they have a number of locations around Sydney, maybe even Australia. Um, and they have some that are closer to town within the central business district. But I just have this thing, especially when I travel, I love to go to the original location. I mean, even though the locations, I'm sure they all pretty much have the same exact food, maybe the same taste. For me, somehow coming to the original location gives it more meaning and more history and then maybe the, the taste even is the best. Oh, there's so much going on. Oh, fully loaded, the cheese. Mm. Oh. We are here to eat something called the Halal Snack Pack, or HSP for short. She starts with fries, chips that are fried, a mix of chicken as well as beef, uh, which she then griddle fries, the barbecue sauce, the chili sauce. Oh, that is heavy. Thank you very much. Welcome to Metro One Kebab Shop, and we are here to eat something called the Halal Snack Pack, or HSP for short. So that hot meat melts the cheese based on Turkish cuisine, but it's kind of a thing that was started right here in Sydney. It's an Australian, it's a like iconic takeout staple of Australia and especially in Sydney. And so she starts with fries, chips that are fried and that makes the base. You can choose, oh, one more thing is that you can choose from like eight different sizes, all the way from kid's size to regular to large to nine inch, 11 inch, 13 inch, 15 inch, a pizza box, an entire pizza box of a, of a halal snack pack. I went with the, the large size, which is one of the classic sizes, uh, but they start with a base of French fries. Then I got the mix of meat, so a mix of chicken as well as beef, uh, which she then griddle fries. That goes over the fries and then uh, on top, three different sauces, the garlic sauce, the barbecue sauce, the chili sauce. Oh, that is heavy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. What are the... 
hot, warm, gooey, saucy. It's so heavy. Oh, I forgot about the cheese. There's cheese melted. Oh, oh there's so much going on. Oh, fully loaded. The cheese. Mmm. Oh. Oh, wow, yes. Oh, that's, that's everything I was expecting it to be, and more. Those hot, freshly cooked, crispy fries. The cheese, the layer of cheese, which I had totally forgotten about, just melted on top. The meat on the spit, then griddle fried, then draped. All the kebab meats. And then all of those sweet and sour and slightly spicy sauces. The garlic, the chili sauce, the barbecue sauce. Oh man, that's tasty. Mm. One of the great things is that they cook it all hot and fresh. So much meat on top of it. So much cheese, so much sauces. It's moist, it's gooey. As we continue to eat this, I do want to tell you a little bit of, of a story of how this was invented and how it became so popular here in Australia. Because there are, I mean, around the world, I think there are variations that are similar to this, but also a little bit different. From what I'm reading a little bit about the history, it can be traced back to the 1980s. And you know, it has origins in Turkish food with the Middle Eastern community in Sydney. That began, I mean, adapting to the local culture, adapting also to the European influence in Sydney to come up with this dish. But as the story goes, it wasn't until about 2015, there was a, it was actually a Facebook group here in Sydney called the Halal Snack Appreciation Society uh, that began talking and creating a buzz around halal snack packs, reviewing halal snack packs, uh, rating them, really bringing cultures together through this dish. I think through the Facebook group, through the, the talking about halal snack packs, it led one of the, the Australian senators, Sam Dastyari, who was in the Australian parliament, uh, to hold a debate about halal certification and halal food. And that's what's, what's, what's also created a, a buzz and created a, a more of an awareness about halal food in Sydney and the halal snack pack. So here we are today. It is a staple, an iconic dish, something that you absolutely have to try when you come to Sydney. I think the more you keep on eating, the better it gets. The fries get a little soggier, saturated with the meat juice and sauces and the cheese oil. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you also. HSPs would be available at any, basically any kebab shop throughout Sydney that you can find. But the place that we went to is called Metro One Kebab. Highly recommended. When I was doing research about the best HSP in Sydney, uh, this consistently ranked as one of the best with a lot of loyal fans, customers, and now I can see why. Huge portion sizes, good quality ingredients, really friendly service. It was outstanding. And that entire box cost $20, so, but it's huge. And she did put two forks in it, so I think it could be considered for two people. It's a, it's a sharing snack pack. I would highly recommend it.